In today's video, we are going to be continuing our topic on straight lines, and today we're going to look at medians. So what is a median? Well, we'll start off by defining what the word median actually means. Now, a median, which is actually the name of a particular line, we're going to learn about a, a couple of lines in the next few videos. Today we're talking about a median, and we say that a median of a triangle is a line passing through a vertex, which is the corner of a triangle, and the midpoint of the opposite side, or the opposing side. So let's visualize this to see what this definition actually means. So here we have a triangle and we have the, it is the triangle A, B, C, and we have a vertex here, B. And if we draw a line that goes from this vertex B to the midpoint of the opposing side, so in this case, the side is the, the line AC, then we call this blue line here the median because it goes from the vertex, it passes through the vertex, and the midpoint of the opposite side. Now the midpoint we're calling M, which is the midpoint of the line AC. Now if you need to recap on what a midpoint is, be sure to go back and check our video on midpoints. But as you can see here, the midpoint, we've drawn these two little lines here to say that this side here is the same as this side here because the midpoint is of course halfway between A and C, so this side here is going to be the same as this side here. So in this case, we'll just say that the line BM is a median of, and we'll do the triangle ABC. However, this triangle, as you can see, has more than just one median. We'll have a median that goes from here, A, to the midpoint of this side here. And we'll also have another median that goes from here to the midpoint of this side here. Now, obviously I've not got a ruler with me, but as you can see, these would be straight lines and they go from the vertex to the midpoint of the opposing side. So every triangle will have three midpoints. So the best way to show you how to work out the equation of a median is just by doing an example. So in this example here, we're told that triangle ABC has the vertices A, 4, negative 9, B, 10, 2, and C, 4, negative 4. Now when we're talking about medians, we might be asked to find the equation of the median from A. Now what does this mean? Well, if we start by forming a little sketch of the triangle A, B, C, because the equation goes, the equation of the median, the median, sorry, from A, it's going to go from A to the midpoint of the opposing side, which is the line B, C. So there's three steps we must do into working out the median of a line. And the first step is to calculate the midpoint of the relevant line. So we already have the point A, we want to work out the point of the midpoint that the line A connects to, the line AM. So how can we work this out? Well, we just use our midpoint formula to say that the midpoint, so this is our step one, we'll call it, the midpoint of BC, which in this case is M, is going to be equal to, we did our x1 plus x2 divided by 2 and y1 plus y2 divided by 2. Again, we learned this when we talked about midpoints. And in this case, it's going to be equal to what well, we're using b and c. So it's 10 plus 4 divided by 2 and 2 plus minus 4 also divided by 2. And this is going to be our coordinate of m. Now we can simplify this a little bit. We're going to have 14 divided by 2, which is 7. And we're going to have 2 
minus four, which is minus two, divided by two, which is minus one. So we now have our first step complete, which is working out the coordinates of the midpoint. Our second step is to work out the gradient of the line AM, because as you know, for working out the equation of a line, we're going to need a point on the line and the, and the gradient of the line. So the gradient of AM, we're going to use our formula Y2 take Y1 over X2 take X1. Now our y2 we worked out in this little median here, so this is our x1 and our y, uh, x2, y2. So we're going to have minus 1. Now our, what is our y1? Well our y1 is the y coordinate of a, so it's minus minus 9. And it's divided by 7 minus 4. So putting this together we get minus 1 plus 9, which is 8 and seven minus four, which is three. So this is the gradient of the line AM. So now we can put everything together and use our formula Y subtract B equals M X take A to work out the equation of the median from A. So putting in what we know, our A and our B is just going to be either the point A or the point M. Let's go for the point uh, let's go for a, so we'll call b negative 9, so we're going to have y minus minus 9, which I'm just going to write plus 9 equals, our gradient is 8 over 3, x subtract a, which is 4. Now immediately again, we're going to just get rid of this fraction on the right hand side, multiplying everything through by 3. So 3y plus 9 times 3 is 27. Now, because we're multiplying this by 3, the 3s are going to cancel out and we're just going to have 8x take 4. And if you can't visualize that there, we're just seeing we're multiplying this by 3, which is technically 3 over 1. The 3s are going to cancel out. We're going to get 8 over 1, or we'd have said 24 over 3, which is also just 8, as you can see. So we get this here, and if we just expand the right-hand side, we get 3y plus 27 is equal to 8x subtract 32. And we'll write this in the general form, um, 3y subtract 8x from both sides and add 32 to both sides, we get plus 59. And we to make sure we put equals zero and we call this the equation of the median from a so a bit of work there using the midpoint gradients and our equation of a straight line to work out the equation of the median from a